and here will be the true length of the line of end point B dash. Here front view and the top view both shows the true length, actual length of the line because of as we have studied when line is perpendicular to the profile plane it will show a true length in both the planes VP and as well as in HP it will show a true length and will show only a dot in a profile plane which is shown here. You can see this? Yes. So, it is a solution of the second example. Let us consider a third example. So, I will read this. A line AB 50 mm long is perpendicular to HP and it is below HP point A on the HP and 30 mm behind VP. Draw the projection of line AB. Draw the projection of line AB. Okay. Now, let us study once again that I, will, I have marked x, x and y axis. Above the x and y axis, there is a vertical plane VP and there is a horizontal plane HP. Okay. Now, I will start going through the data. The first given data is the true length of line which is equals to 50 mm. And the second data is location of point A. Here two locations are given. Okay, the first location is the point A is on HP and the second location is 30 mm behind VP. So I will write it 30 mm behind VP. So, this will show me the exact location of the point A on this plane. So, I will mark a point which is on A on HP. We know that when we mark a point which shows the front view or the elevation, we notate as at it as A dash. Okay. So, here is the point on HP. It is A dash. Second data is given as it is 30 mm behind VP in the sense a distance from xy axis of 30 mm on the VP plane. So, I will mark a distance of 30 mm on VP and will mark at it as a point which will show me the true point. Now, let us study, the, let us take the second data given. The data is line is perpendicular to the HP. When the line is perpendicular to HP, we will mark it as a straight line and the true length of line is 50 mm. So, from the A dash, we will show a B dash point at a distance of 50 mm. But as the line is perpendicular to HP, we will, we will show only the true length of the line on HP. We will see only a point on VP. So, where is the point A? Even a point B will be present there. So, as we have studied in previous cases, when the line is perpendicular to HP, the, uh, the graph, when the, we are plotting this, HP will give the true length and VP will give only a exact location, only a point of an example. Okay? So, you can refer this example and we will consider inclined example in the next session. Okay. So, after, in the first session we discussed points, uh, points in same quadrants, points in different quadrants and then uh, here in the second, uh, in the second session we discussed uh, okay. parallel lines lines, uh, the first case of lines that is the line is parallel to 2 and perpendicular to 1 plane and then we solved 3 examples that Umangi did very efficiently and which sh showed you that how the problems of these lines are solved. So, you can refer to these problems and these are, these were very basic 
uh, problems that were there to just make you understand that basically what is projection and if you are projecting a point or if you are projecting a line then what are we actually doing and what are we actually drawing on paper that was just illustrated today. The actual examples that we are going to solve are in the next session will be the inclined lines that the lines is inclined with at least one plane and then the line in is inclined with all the different planes. Those were are the examples that are there in the exam. So, you please be there for uh, next Sunday uh, same time at 12 pm and we will solve examples related to that. So, but review this lecture the first and the second because if you do not understand the projection of point you would not be under, uh, able to understand the projection of line and if you are not able to understand projections then you would not be able to understand the problems which have to be solved. So, as I always say read the problem very, very carefully for reading and understanding the problem you should know the basics of the problem. So, in the first and session uh, second session today we discuss the basics of what is projection and what is the projection of a point in same and different quadrants and what are projection of lines. So, in the coming session we will discuss the rest. So, till then I thank again I thank once again Umangi for solving the problem so uh, nicely using the instruments the Hathiyar of Maharani Lakshmi Bai and <laughs> Janov and Hardik for dis displaying the and uh, illustrating the quadrants and the other things very well. So, thank you and have a good day and keep practicing.